In many countries, learning to read is a simple rite of passage, a challenge tackled by young children so they can succeed in school and in life. In Afghanistan, the fight for female literacy is in many cases a matter of life and death. The next Clinton Global Citizen Award honors an Afghan woman who faces lethal threats and daily opposition in her struggle for gender equality. At age 10, Suraya Pakzad hid her books in a plastic bag pretending she was going to the market instead of going to school. At age 12, she saw her, her headmistress assassinated simply for refusing to wear a headscarf. Twelve years ago, Suraya stepped up to fill a hugely ignored need in Taliban-controlled Afghanistan, the education of girls and women, defying strict laws prohibiting women from attending school. She covertly taught girls to read in her living room, and despite the constant danger, Suraya held classes with a gallon of kerosene nearby so she could quickly destroy the books in case of a raid. In 1998, she founded the Voice of Women organization, which expanded the reading groups across Afghanistan. Today, VWO runs shelters for women and girls who have been abused or forced into marriage. It provides women with safe drinking water and sanitation, education, and job skills. It offers lawyers to women in jail many of whom are imprisoned because they are victims of rape and domestic violence. When Soraya decided not to include Afghan in her organization's name, as some suggested, she was conscious, consciously refusing to limit the scope and impact of her work. Her broad and idealistic mindset defines the term global citizen. Tonight, we acknowledge Soraya's unparalleled dedication to women's education and her courage in the face of oppression by presenting her with the Clinton Global Citizen Award for Outstanding Leadership in Civil Society. Would you please come up?